Well, hello everybody. My name is Ricardo Cabrera and I am the uh, operations manager for the Latino Chamber of Commerce of Boulder County. And uh, this morning we have as our guest, John Lanoska, an uh, insurance agent, uh, owns his own agency and he is a member of the Latino Chamber. Uh, welcome, John, thanks for being with us today. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you. Uh, I, I really appreciate uh, being a member of the Latino Chamber and uh, getting to know Ricardo. Um, it's, uh, he's, he's really very, um, uh, really, really helpful in a lot of ways, uh, you know, uh, to, to me personally as a, as a business owner and, and helping me um, get everything going here. I've been in business now for about three months. Uh, I'm, I grew up in Colorado Springs and uh, I've traveled a lot. Um, I've been in Boulder now for, I've been in Boulder off and on, but I've been here recently for about four years and started this business in June. And I hear you speak French. I do. I did, I did spend some time there. I, in a previous life, I was a teacher. Uh, I taught uh, French in, in Colorado and uh, Arizona, and I taught English in France. Wow. Well-rounded. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> cool. So, John, tell us about, uh, I think, American National Insurance. That's, uh, that's the company you represent. Uh, would you tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, they're, they're a really um, well-established company. They've been around for about 115 years. Um, you know, they've survived through and, and actually flourished through all the, the great wars, the depressions, uh, everything through through all their history. And, uh, you know, they've, they've always, they've, they've really grown a lot. They've always paid dividends ever since they were um, uh, a publicly owned company, which, which they are now. Uh, they've, they've never missed any dividends. So they're very solid, they're A rated. And uh, one of the remarkable things about them is that they don't do a lot of advertising or almost no advertising like the bigger insurance companies. So we're able to, that's how we're able to be competitive, more competitive with rates and offer cash back uh, and other programs that, uh, that benefit uh, our customers. Excellent. So as an insurance company, they offer all types of insurances, right? So I'm assuming life and auto and home and other types of insurance. That, that's correct, Richard. They, uh, they offer um, uh, obviously auto and life uh, and, and home are, are a kind of a core. Uh, the, the, the company is really focuses on life insurance, uh, but uh, you know, auto and home is kind of a core and we have a bundle that, uh, that we can do all three of those we call a tri line. And then we also do farms. Uh, I have a, a several farm clients um, uh, we do uh, small business, business liability, professional liability. So really the full range uh, of, uh, of insurance. We're, we're a full service insurance company. Excellent. So, okay. So for most of us, it's pretty obvious that you got have home insurance and auto insurance, business insurance. That's pretty uh, easy to understand, but there's a lot of confusion, at least in my mind about life insurance. So, uh, why, why would somebody need life insurance? Yeah, that's a great question, Ricardo. Um, so life insurance, um, it's, it depends on what your goals and strategies are. Um, uh, some, some people use it for mortgage protection. So if, if you are uh, at the age where you're, you, you, ha you have an income and you've got a big mortgage and you have a family, well, if, if you were, God forbid, to uh, be taken out of the picture, then that, that uh, life insurance would pay off, could pay off your mortgage, for example. Um, some people use, uh, and there's different kinds of life insurance. Some people use it to help uh, supplement or be the major component of their retirement. Um, you could use it for um, health emergencies, for any, any real financial emergency, um, if you have the right kind of life insurance. And um, yeah, just uh, income replacement, things of that nature. Okay, so 
So there are several types of life insurances out there then. So, uh, so can you tell me about the different types of life insurances that one can get? Sure. Yeah, there's uh, the, the first kind that most people are familiar with is, is called term insurance. And that is um, a, a policy in which it just pays you a death benefit. Say, say your death benefit is a million dollars um, and you just pay a premium and that's, that's a very straightforward program. It's all it does. All it does is pay if you were to pass away um, unexpectedly and uh, it would pay your beneficiary that, that million dollars. And that's a term policy. And those are very, usually very, uh, very inexpensive because all you're doing is, all, the only benefit is that death benefit. And then there is a, um, uh, other types of policies that are called permanent insurance, that's, that's more of like your whole life or your universal life. And what they do is they do the same thing. You could have a uh, million dollar policy just to uh, uh, compare it to the term. And also, you part of the money that you're paying in the premium goes to an account that compounds every year. So you have an accumulation value, an actual cash value of the policy after a certain number of years, um, it's there's a there'll be an amount of money in there that you can then withdraw, and uh, if and if you do it systematically and in certain in a certain manner, it is uh, um, treated preferentially under under the tax laws. I'm not an accountant, but um, I, I do know that uh, it is protected uh, or, or looked at differently um, under the tax laws. So it's so it's in the favor. Of the owner of that policy. Well, okay. So then you so you talked about term life insurance, and that one basically is uh, you would benefit, say, like a young individual that is just starting out that has debts, like in a house and in a car, and in case of a premature departure, then this insurance just comes in. You know, he gets a payout, and he could use it to not only pay out his debt, but any income supplement like you know over the years that he wasn't able to accomplish and that's just a yearly fee that you pay once a year and according to your age it costs more or less the younger you are the cheaper it is so you could spend i don't know a hundred dollars a year and get a million dollar term life if you're 25 or 30 or so and and a little bit more as you get older yeah i i, I don't know about those numbers but i mean yes it does depend the younger you are the the lower the rate is obviously and uh, it's it's really can be very inexpensive um, I, I think a uh, hundred dollars a year would be more like a quarter million, but, uh, um, yeah, depending on your age, uh, a term life insurance can be very, very inexpensive. And the nice thing about American national is, is when you do have some, any kind of life insurance with us, you get a discount on your auto and home. So, um, I do have some, in some situations, the, uh, the discount almost pays for a, a very significant portion of the premium for the life insurance. Okay, yeah, so as, as John said, don't mind the numbers I'm giving you, I'm just making it up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, so then um, that's really interesting about term life, but then you have whole life and universal, which is, could almost be a replacement for a retirement account because every dollar that you put in, and we're assuming here that you're putting in a certain amount of money every month for, for a long time, this money actually goes into a sort of a savings account that grows uh, like a retirement account would. And so at the end of the term of whatever, for the time that you put your money in, not only do you have that money that you put in growth with its growth over years, plus you have a life insurance. So, so it's like a double whammy and there's a tax benefit. So you can use this money for yourself, uh, like to be your own bank tax free. Exactly, exactly. And any, any life insurance that pays out on the death benefit is going to be tax-free. That to your beneficiary, first of all, it's going to be tax-free. Um, and it is not subject to any creditors or any, uh, any liens. So it goes directly to your beneficiary, the whole amount. So that's one of the tax advantages. And then on the universal life, uh, the permanent life plans, when you, if you withdraw systematically, and, and if you do it in the in the way that is recommended, then it's also um, favored tax. So you so you won't have to pay taxes on it that way. 
Um, so yeah, it's, it's, there's a, it's an incredible benefit and all the time, as long as you keep that policy in force, you do have that, that benefit of the, uh, that face amount, uh, death benefit. And so really you can use it both ways. Um, if it's, if you, if your strategy is correct and that's, that's what we, um, that's how we set it up for our customers to, so they can take advantage of both sides of that, that coin. Right. So not only do you have the money that you save, but the death, you know, face value benefit of it. So, and I am, I'm assuming also that the younger you are, when you start this, the better it is. So I'm assuming if you're say, if you're 25 or 35, when you start this, you might be having to pay a hundred dollar a month. And I'm just making up the numbers again, versus uh, if you're 55, when you start, then you're, then it's not going to be a hundred dollars a month. It may be like more money a month uh, to, to reach the, face value that you pick. Sure, and I'm glad you brought that up because that, that, that's another reason I was, uh, for your other question of why, why life insurance, a, a lot of people use it as a college saving fund. You know, if, if you start one of these for your, uh, your, your uh, one year old son or daughter or one that isn't even born yet, you know, that, that money will have, you know, 18, 19, 20 years to compound and um, we have we offer um, different different ways different kinds of IULs and one one that is very popular it's it's a zero percent floor which means you can never lose uh, money on that even if the stock market goes down like it did recently and uh, so that would have a zero percent floor a nine and a half percent cap so you could still get up to that uh, percentage um, when the when the markets are doing well and uh, so, so that, that compounding over the years is really the way that, um, you know, a lot of people have, have become rich. And this is not a get rich quick scheme or anything. It's a uh, save and, and build slowly and accumulate uh, for your goals. Well, that is awesome, John. And, and, and uh, I have a lot of ideas now and, uh, uh, and questions for you, but uh, we'll leave that for another day. Um, for now, um, you know, thank you for stopping by. And if you guys have any questions, um, John's number is right there uh, next to his shoulder. And in case you can't really see it, I'm going to put it on the description down here. Uh, but why don't you tell us, John, how we can get a hold of you anyway? And uh, so if people have questions, they can call or email you. Yeah, uh, yeah. My uh, my office is uh, my current office is in Longmont, on uh, 500 Kaufman Street. And uh, my email is john.lanoska at american-national.com. And uh, my number is 303-306-8797. And you can call that anytime. And uh, yeah, I'd be happy to uh, you know, discuss anything, get, get you some quotes. Uh, and, and it's uh, obviously, um, I, I wanna make something that, that makes sense and works for you. So, you know, if, uh, um, if we can save you some money and there's a lot of, a lot of strategies we have to do that and help you plan for your future in, in any way, then, uh, I'm, I'd be, uh, be really thrilled to do that. Thank you. Absolutely, John. Thank you. So before we go, I have one last surprise question for you. Um, what is your favorite word? My favorite word, um, my favorite word, uh, well, I'm just going to say skateboard right now. Um, I, I really enjoy that. Uh, I, I was thinking of some other ones that like value and things, but uh, that's what I'm going to go, go do after this interview. So <laughs> that's the one that popped into my mind. <laughs> All right. I love that. Thank you, John, for everything. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and thank you, everybody. Until next time. Okay, Ricardo. Thank you very much.